the iPad has excellent built-in accessibility features that can make life much easier for lots of us. Many learners with dyslexia either have difficulty decoding and they read very slowly, and some may have to reread text several times in order to process and get meaning from it. Having text read aloud as you read can be a huge advantage if you do struggle with decoding or fluency. So let's have a look at the different ways in which the iPad can help. First, the learner needs to go to Settings, Accessibility, and under the Vision section, select Spoken content. Many dyslexics take longer to process information and what they're hearing, so, you know, get them to select a reading speed that suits. Speak, speak selection read selected content. Speak selection read selected content. Speak selection read, speak selection read selected content. Okay, that sounds not too bad for me. So, the first thing we're going to look at is speak screen. Now, that is your two-finger swipe down and it reads whatever's on the screen. Sounds handy, but it really does read everything on the current screen, which can sometimes be even more confusing if you're a struggling reader. So, for example, here's a website. United Kingdom, Ireland, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand. Search for, search, login, register. Right, that was not much cop. And in fact, it would be exactly the same um, in a document, two fingers from the top. Safe from bombs word talk, home, tab, insert, tab, draw, tab, layout, tab. Safe from bomb. Okay, maybe not particularly helpful. So... Let's go back and look at the other options we have. This time, let's make sure that Speak Selection is also um, highlighted. And I like to have on that highlight content, if you see that below my speech controller, which means that you'll get the sort of karaoke effect as the text is being read back out to you. And for most learners, I feel and find that words and sentences is most helpful. So let's go back to our website. And this time I am going to highlight the text that I want read out to me and press speak. Before World War II began, Germany was ruled by a man named Adolf Hitler. Mm, the karaoke is good. It means it helps me if I've got tracking issues to track along. Uh, so that is better. Now, just before we go back and look at what I think is the best option, our speech controller, having that switched on, let's just look at websites and look at what is called Reader View. This is looks. It's got lots of good facts. National Geographic. I'm liking it. But there's lots of sponsored links at the side. Oh, I can see games at the top there. Half of my class would be away into them before they read anything. So we want to switch to reader view. And if you look at the sort of address bar up at the top there, you can see the small capital A and the big capital A on the left hand side. And I'm just going to click on that. And it has taken me to Reader View. Now, not every single website has got Reader View, but as you can see, what a difference. It has stripped away all the, all the gunk, all the sort of background rubbish, and has just given us text. And we can um, readily now use our Highlighting again, let me just go and speak. In September 1939, Britain entered into what would become the world's most devastating war to date. Learn all about the events that changed the lives of millions in our World War II facts. 
Okay, now this little guy here is our speech controller and I want to have him available all the time. So I'm going to go back into my settings, back into accessibility, back into my spoken content and there's my speech controller. It, it's here on my screen because I've got it switched on. So you want to make sure, there it is, that that button there is toggled on and that is going to give us that speech controller. Big advantages for, with speech controller because where I can then just use my finger for where I want um, the iPad to start reading to me. So let's have a look, and I think maybe a good way of showing this is to open a book. Um, let's have a quick look at Matilda. Okay, so say we were um, on here and I am the learner, struggling a little bit with my decoding, but I have got an electronic version of Matilda. I'm going to choose the finger or the hand and wherever I click in there... Some, some parents, parents go, go further. They, they become, become so blinded, blinded by adoration, adoration they manage to convince themselves their child has qualities of genius. Next page. Well, there is nothing very wrong with all this. It's the way of the world. So, Speech controller is great for clicking in and having the text read from exactly where you want it. Gives much better control for those who need most of the text read out aloud. But speech selection can still be really handy and perhaps more appropriate for those who are actually reading it themselves, they're decoding, but they may be stuck on a particular word. For example... Brilliance. Brilliance. Okay, so that's our text to speech options. Let's just go over it again. Accessibility, spoken content and having all these things switched on.